Okay, going along the idea of fun little crafts to do, I am going to share with you a pin that I found. Um, I also am going to have the link to the original blog post in the description box below because of course I want to do give a shout out to the person who came up with this idea. It is really neat. I have modified it a bit so I am going to put my instructions here but definitely check out hers as well and that way you can decide which way uh, you want to do it. Now the components for this strawberry are a, as, as you already know it's a strawberry, <laughs> um, the components are a heart and a starburst. I did not have an appropriately sized um, heart die or punch so I am making one of my own which is the first way that I'm modifying this she used a punch and you just cut around fold fold your index card over and cut around and when you open it up you have a symmetrical heart now if you'll notice the bottom is not pointed I have made it a little bit rounded that's key so that it looks more like a strawberry and less like a heart now that I've got this, it obviously has a crease down it, and it's not red, so we'll trace it onto some cardstock and cut around. Once you have your heart shape cut out, either um, erase the marks or uh, turn the cardstock over so you can't see the pencil lines. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then you need a green starburst. I'm using a Fisker's Punch. The, this is another modification. The original post had a starburst that was symmetrical. Mine is not symmetrical. And she actually recommends popping the whole thing on. You can see in her post it's really cute, but I actually prefer it without um, a couple of the edges. So again, check out her blog post if you want to see the way she did it. Um, I'm going to do it with fewer uh, raise on my starburst and then apply a little adhesive for the video I'm just using a little double-sided adhesive I would probably use glue if I were doing this for a card because as you can see you can see part of the adhesive and put it down there you go you then take a little bit of whiteout. I believe she used puffy paint in hers. Again, see her blog post. But uh, all I have on hand is whiteout, so that's what I'm going to use. Put cute little dots in random positions. And you have one strawberry. Uh, here's one that's a little bit flatter <laughs> that I made earlier could make a bunch, put them on a card. Super, super, super cute and lots of fun. Another good one to do with the kids on a snowy day. I hope you guys have a really great day and we'll talk to you soon. See ya!